So my name is Nina Kachadorian, um, and this project I have here in the show is called Talking Popcorn. Um, the idea for the piece came from an experience I had in graduate school, actually around probably 1993, when I had taken a class in Morse code and got very interested in the idea that Morse code, if you knew how to listen to it, uh, this, this patterning, this staccato patterning uh, could be a language. And I thought, if you got really good at Morse code, maybe anything with that kind of patterning could be a language and could be telling you something. So I thought popcorn would be a really interesting thing to decode. Uh, but it took me until around 10 years later almost to actually build this piece that does that. The thing I had in mind making this was a lot about um, an experience of listening and how sometimes when you're speaking of a language that you don't speak very well with someone else, there's this feeling of sometimes wondering if you're actually having the same conversation. You're kind of, you're listening really carefully, you're, you're guessing at the meaning of words a little bit, you're throwing a lot of goodwill at the situation to hopefully have the same conversation and talking popcorn works a little bit like that. You never read what it is the machine is saying, you never see words, you're only listening and trying to kind of hear um, resemblances. I found a fantastic computer programmer named uh, Joshua Goldberg, who lives in New York and who's um, written this program in a, in, a, um, in a program called Max MSP that decodes and interprets this sound. And we worked on it very closely together. He did the technical aspects of it, but we talked a lot about how we wanted it to work. And it was very important for me that it worked strictly. It wasn't cheating a bunch of English words into its speech that's not important to me. It, it really uh, speaks its own language um, on its own terms. So. Um, as you'll see, it's a very gibberishy kind of speech, but you do sort of imagine that you hear a lot in it. So Talking Popcorn has a computer hidden in that black base below, which picks up the sound that the mic records as the popcorn pops and feeds it into the laptop, and then you hear the simultaneous spoken translation of what the popcorn is saying on its own terms. <laughs> It's a bit of an audio Rorschach blot. You project a lot of meaning into what you hear. So it says all kinds of stuff. And I should say what that really means is that you think you hear it say all kinds of stuff. It asked me once, um, do you ski in a very polite voice? Um, the longest word it's ever said in English is the word silent. And my computer does keep a record of everything it says. And so it is possible for me later to go in and pick out actual words and speech. <laughs> Just to give you an example, when I st first started making this machine, um, it became calling me mom all the time, or so I thought, because I kind of did feel like my little Frankenstein here was you know, coming into being. Um, but just this morning, it suddenly said M-M-O-M-M -M -M again. And um, so there we have it, we're, we're bonding again, <laughs> all these years later.